I'm going to take this sheet of fondant, which is a specially blended um, piece that has honeybee healthy probiotics. It's about two and a half pounds. And the bees basically create body heat and they melt it. And then they will chew this, take it down into their hive and regurgitate it and put it in for their honey. Their honey is down here. In the spring when we start our honey, the box is up here, nothing from down below ever comes up. So our honey is just from the field. Now, if you wanna get a picture of these bees real quick. Go ahead, good, you see? So they're almost out of sugar. So I'm gonna take this baby. And I'm gonna gently lay it on top and because this hive is so big, I'm gonna put another half. Okay, girls. So that's emergency feeding and we'll be doing that as needed until spring when we can start giving them light syrup. So then we move down. Repetition, that's all it is. Goofy moisture boards stick. There's another one that's almost out. I'll raise it so you can see them. You ready? That's a large hive. So this, I'm very gently laying it right on top of them so it doesn't crush them. So there's little emergency holes here in this moisture board that the bees can get in and out. And when I put this hive, this outer cover on, if I keep it all the way forward, that gives them a hole that they can climb up inside the cover and go in that emergency access. So that's that. All right, so this one, if you see the sugar, they are just starting to get into it. And it looks like they may not be, if it's really cold, sometimes they have trouble getting to it. So I'm gonna rip some paper open. And that allows them to get to it. Sorry, girls. That sugar, this is not a really big hive. This is probably, there's probably 20,000. This might be 15 or 20. This hive, the way I'm looking, because they seem to be clustered in one area in the front, that is a smaller cluster, maybe three, 400 bees. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna die. Hopefully the queen has just shut down because of the cold. She only lays enough eggs that the bees can keep warm. So in a little circle, then as the weather gets warmer, if there's enough bees, she'll lay another circle and she'll keep going out and out and out. But right now, if it's not a strong hive, she may only be laying 10, 15, 20 eggs a day because there's not enough bees to keep the egg warm. These hives, the queen could have a half a rack, half of a frame of eggs, because there's enough bees to keep the eggs warm. All right. All right, now, I don't see any bees, but what I'm going to do is, and I hear some buzzing. So you see that the bees made this like semi-solid from their moisture. Now I'm going to sort of take a look. I don't want to pull any frames. 
but I'm sort of taking a look to see if I can see a couple planes of bees somewhere. I'm going to move this out to the side. The moisture from the hive took this regular table sugar and it put it together in a clump like this. Now we've got some down there. They're, they're either very light or there's enough uh, enough food in the frames that they haven't had to come up. So, so we'll leave this one go. There's a smaller cluster. So I'm just going to drop a little bit right on top of them so they don't have to go anywhere for it. And I keep this in my base in my laundry room. So this fondant is warm. You don't want to keep it in the garage or any place cold for what reason? Well, I set a freezing piece of fondant on top of the bees. It's going to freeze hundreds of bees. That's our lesson for the day. Have a great weekend. Keep in touch with Jason. He's the man.